All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we are doing a tier list video on every PvE character, or more so for the anniversary characters. We will be moving down and down a f some uh, last uh, tier list people made some good points. Um, so yeah, do note this is PvE, mainly based off in PvE, so like epic raids, guild quests, limit breaker, and how they perform in IT, uh, whether how much damage they do, you know, their kits, their strong attack kits and how many how like where we can use them essentially uh and then also it's my opinion you know if you want to move them up or down a little bit that's fair you know i'm not gonna like like attack you if you think that and also not every character is on my tier list i don't i i said in every single one for example i only have up to the fourth anniversary because any character below fourth anniversary practically has absolutely zero use um, so yeah, that's just mine. Uh, but now for this, I will say I, I don't rank every resurrection because I'm not gonna lie, the swims of resurrections are garbage. Not gonna do it. Can't fear own world are kind of interesting, so I guess I'll do them. And then basically, it's just the anniversary characters from part one and part two. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Let's hop right on in. So for Yami, uh, he did not get much. Like he had a decent increase. That mainly it's just his link. He has a normal attack damage of 20%, a full stamina damage increase of 16%, and then I believe he just got like Berserker and a Bruiser. It's fine, it's okay, but it's nothing insane like how the last few thousand Blood Bowl Resurrections have been. And I'm really praying the 5th Anniversary Resurrections come in August and we actually get a pretty good one. Uh, but I think he's just a still like a very mediocre character. He's whatever, he's probably like a low A, somewhere around here. I don't rank A... Uh, or B or anything that's it's just their A not ranked uh, and then PvP is just here because uh, as for the new thousand above with Toshiro though he is an absolute powerhouse uh, he is one of the is easily the one of the best characters in the entire game uh, he has double killer the first of the, this uh, anniversary which is crazy uh, since he's the only one of part one and two besides Sajin, who's a PvP character. Uh, he has Storm Ritter and no affiliation killer. He also has a strong attack damage minus or plus 20% and strong attack recharge time minus 12%. And then he has freeze on all of his strong attacks, including his soul bomb and his EX kill, which is very cool. I like his EX kill. It's like a trap, a frozen trap that g gets smaller and does continuous damage until it explodes at the very middle with a big uh, blast. Uh, and then he... Another, some of his amazing skills are team party heart attributes, soul reaper damage to status ailment affected enemies of 40%. He has a berserker value of 50%, bombardment plus one. He has complete status immunity damage to frozen enemies, debilitator plus five seconds, soul bomb devastation of 50%. He has frenzy plus two, increased status ailment chance against Quincy's and no affiliation. That's very good. He also has long stride. The SP boost of 80%. Also, weak in defense, so his soul is going to hit incredibly hard. Then he has Havoc plus 20%, Sharpshooter, and Sprinter plus 1. There's not really much to give him, to be honest, besides maybe, like, more full stamina damage, possibly, like, instead of one of the skills. Like, but, like, outside of that, like, he's an absolutely insane character. I guess you could have given him, like, weakening on his strong attacks, but, yeah. I believe people have said it, but I think the only reason he might be technically worse than Trushi Ichigo is just because of his strong attack kit. It's not as good as Ichigo's. So you can either say he's number one or number two. He is definitely fighting very tooth and nail for uh, number one. I just think Ichigo's better some because that SA3, when you hold it and then you let it go for like a split second, it's like two SA3s essentially. Like it, it just hits incredibly hard. Um, but yeah, like. He's an absolute monster of a character. Really like him. He's really fun. But when I played him in IT, it just felt like I was clearing fast with Trushi Guy Ichigo uh, when I tested him at 1 out of 5. But uh, yeah, as for any characters, I am thinking of moving down some characters. But like, I think Heart is fine. Like I, I, I hate seeing so many characters up here, but it's like we've gotten so many insane characters i don't want to move them down just because i think i should move them down because like noitora and rangiku are some of the best farmers um they're still extremely good like maybe noitora i guess i can move down because i think he's an inferior farmer to rangiku besides the fact that he gives plus 10 super link slot potions but i think she's an overall better farmer just because of her damage like and not having to rely on status summons uh Ruruka is very good granted unfortunately she did get replaced by Grammy. But I still think she, as for heart, 
She's an absolutely outstanding character. Bruno, still a very, very good character. Kilgay, absolutely insane character. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, yeah, I, I think heart is fine. Moving on to the next attribute. All right, so we have technique. Man, we really... <laughs> I, I really want to like move Tosh or like Aizen down, but they're still absolutely insane. It's just so weird seeing so many SS tier characters. Like last year, it was like two or three characters in each SS tier, and then that was it. And now we have so many. So it feels good that they're finally like filling them out. Uh, Halibel, insane farmer. Aizen, insane nag character. Toshiro is still a very, very good gauge SP character. Ichigo is still an absolutely crazy character outside of GQ. Uh, Ichibei is an absolutely insane character. I think his weakest point is IT, but outside of that, he's still an absolutely phenomenal character. And then, I think the same thing goes for Bambi. I think she's absolutely insane in her Limit Breaker, her Guild Quest. Insanely strong in her Guild Quest. She absolutely destroys kill gain in terms of damage in the Guild Quest. Uh, but then IT, I think she struggles a little bit just because her skills are mainly GQ, but she's still very, very good in it. Um, still not sold on pushing wrong GQ to SS. I don't think it is. But uh, now let's go over the Resurrected... Zomari, and then the new 8th and 9th anniversary Gremi. Alright, so it is time for Zomari, uh, and unfortunately his resurrection I believe is like the worst. Uh, he basically just got, I believe, some Berserker, maybe a little Bruiser. It wasn't anything crazy, and then he got damage to weakened enemies, plus 20% on his soul trait, and then additional damage to weakened enemies, plus 30% on his skills. So I mean, it's alright. But, I mean, I, I still think he's, like, a very mediocre, generic, just a really bad character, to be honest. So he's just going to be pretty low. He's just going to be somewhere in A tier. Uh, but as for Gremi, I don't even have to explain it. He is easily the best te the best technique character in the entire game. They absolutely cooked. Like, gen like realistically, the only thing I wish he had was long stride and two killers. That That's it. And, and I guess weakening instead of drain... But th th it's whatever. He's still an absolutely ludicrous unit. Um, as for his killer, he has he's a ranged hollow killer. Uh, he has strong attack damage plus 20% and strong attack recharge time minus 12%. He has paralysis and drain on all of his strong attacks, including his soul bomb. And then on some of his like team bonuses, he has a team party Quincy damage to status of unaffected enemies of 30%, and then team party Quincy strong attack damage plus 20%. He has element reversal, which I kind of wish they took out and gave him long shot. That's like his only bad, not bad, just not needed skill. Everything else is very, very good though. He has bombardment plus one, he has complete status immunity plus 100%, debilitator of five seconds, frenzy plus three, the first character besides eighth anniversary Ichigo to get frenzy plus three at base, uh, increased status on chance against hollows plus 10%, he has sharpshooter, increased SP chance against, uh, plus 80%, weakened defense, and then for his innate skills, he also has dodge hollow damage, half plus 20, and sprinter plus 1. So I guess dodging hollow damage is also kind of useless, like, it's whatever. Also, did I say he's range ho uh, hollow? I hope I said the right killer, hopefully I did. Um, yeah, dodge hollow damage, you could definitely put in long stride or something like that, or maybe just an extra, like, full stamina damage uh, bonus for more multipliers, but... Yeah, outside of that, I think he's an absolutely insane unit. Love his kit too. It's a beam SA1 into a, and then his SA2 is a beam uh, vo into a vortex. And it has like a little explosion from his beam, it looks like. And then he has a full screen SA3, which is just, it's a really fun kit. I really, really, really like it. Uh, it's not the best vortex, but I think it's, I think people are saying it's like the second best vortex. The best one is like what Yuha or Six Anniversary Aizen or Thousand Above or Power Yamamoto have. Uh, really, really good strong attack kit. That's that's all I can realistically say. And I think he is easily the best technique character in the entire game. Like the the difference between these two is quite noticeable, especially because of the Nightmare Plus GQ, which after using Kempachi and Gremi in it is where I think is the big difference. Like the fact that they went up 93% HP and they can clear is absurd. Like, th these characters are absolutely insane. At 1 out of 5, they can clear. Kenpachi is a bit more difficult because of how they shafted him, but we'll go into that when we get to the speed attributes. Um, but yeah, I think technique is fine. Like, as I said earlier, there's so many characters. I kind of want to bump down, uh, like, Aizen or Tosh, but I still think they're very, very good. So I think I'll leave them. 
I, I, I don't really see me moving anything. Like, if you want to move, like, Retsu up or something, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I think that is it's pretty much for the technique attribute. All right, ladies, I completely went over Gremlin's EX skill because they don't have it on their cards. It's like the killer bonus thing. They don't really show it. But Gremmy has the EX bonus ability where it does damage, has a really good AoE too. I think it's like a 960 attack or something like that. Don't, don't quote me on that, but it's a 40% boost to you and your allies and debuff. And the damage is still absolutely incredible. I love using it in uh, GQ or Limit Breaker. IT, it's like, eh, it's not, like, it's good, but the only downside of it is it crashes your game half the time right now. But, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to mention that. I completely went over it because it's not on the info uh, when I first look at them. So, sorry about that. But yeah, it's an absolutely insane EX ability. I love the concept of EX abilities. Hopefully, we get more. And, uh, yeah, moving on. All right, now moving on to the speed attribute. And this is, like, probably going to be the most controversial one. Because no matter what side you say, I, I it doesn't matter. Because uh, these are the top two. Kenpachi and Unahana. You want to say Yatra's better, whatever. You want to say Kenny's better, you know, but am I, I'm going to go over them. The new Nightmare Plus mode at 1 out of 5 is absolutely insane. It's very, very difficult. Even at 1 out of, like, 1 out of 5 characters, I don't think can clear it besides Kempachi and Gremmy. I'm going to be honest. From what I've seen, I haven't seen any other units 1 out of 5 clear. And the fact that they increased the HP by 93% is absolutely insane. Uh, Kempachi, the only reason he felt bad, the only reason is because they cucked his damage by making it a times three damage multiplier. Not like, it's not like a 50% bonus or something. It's, it went from a times five with Gremmy to a times three. He doesn't have a killer sticker. So he only has a Masanga, which is worse. I think it's like a 20% to a 40%. And then on top of that, the sides are just worse. Uh, the fact that Ruki can inflict freeze, so you have a chance of not proccing SP boost if you know uh, he, she inflicts freeze on the boss, and there's only one enemy. It's it's, it's very annoying. But once you figure out the pattern, he f he clears fairly consistently, consistently even at just one out of five. Uh, I'm am I saying he's better than Gremmy? No, I'm not saying that. I do think Gremmy is the best character in the entire game. Now, as for Kenpachi and Unahana, Kenpachi's kit, he ha he's in Melee Espada, uh, and then he has Weakening and Lash Rate and all of his strong attacks, uh, and then he also has the Hold SA3, just like Trushikai Ichigo and the new uh, uh, Okiora. So they have that. Uh, he has 100% Berserker, Debilitator plus 5, uh, Devastation plus 50. Also, he also has, the, before I forget, he has the EX ability where he increases his SP. It basically, like, doubles it. I thought it was only a flat 100%, but no, apparently if you, when you pop it, you get about a 360% SP boost. Um, he can send me all the mathematicians and whatnot. It's it, it's a big bonus. It's a big bonus. Uh, he has Frenzy plus 3, increased status on a chance against Aronkars. So you could potentially even bring this guy into Aronkar GQ, probably melee. I don't know how range would go, but uh, range or a melee Aronkar, and you could probably clear with a 1 out of 5 Kampasha. I'm very curious to see how that does. Uh, but obviously that's just speculation right now. But uh, he has Marauder, he has Poise, he has Poise Break. He has SP boost of 80%, he has weakened defense, and then only weakened duration, which I will say is kind of an L. I wish he got complete status immunity. Uh, but then he has a chance to inflict weakened and last rate every 5 seconds, and a 12% chance for 2 seconds, Havoc plus 20%, and Sprinter plus 1. So, for my flaws, I will say I wish he had 2 killers, but, you know, the Espada plus, very nice. Um, I think his status limits are absolutely perfect i don't I, I don't think you need to change that uh i just wish you had long stride you know instead of uh poise i guess because if you get hit in like guild quest right let's say you have no way of healing you're gonna reset the run you're gonna reset the run if you're not a full stamina you're gonna reset the run just like everybody else uh so i would not have mind if they just gave him long stride and then complete status moody i think he would have been absolutely insane his, his strong attack kit i think is good is it better than grammy's no uh, it's a SA1 launch into a SA2 almost full screen. It's uh, just slightly under a full screen. And for an SA2, I think that's perfectly fine. It's very, very good. SA3, yet again, is the Trushikai Ichigo SA3. And I, 
I love it. I really like that SA3, especially since it has last rate, so you can keep them still. And if you have and you have Frenzy 3 and then increased status on the chance, you have a very good chance of proccing it. Uh, and he's he's so broken. He's so broken. I do think he's better than Unahana after I tried him in the Nightmare Plus GQ, because I do not see Unahana doing that. I will say I think that she is a faster character in terms of like Limit Breaker and IT. Kenpachi is just absolutely insane, and they have very close clear times in IT. It's not like that big of a difference. It's like a few seconds. One out of five versus one out of five. It's just that she has more recharge. That's like that's like legitimately the only reason I think she clears faster is her recharge time. She has an extra 6% cooldown uh, when she's at full stamina. Uh, and then outside of that, Limit Breaker, you know, we haven't had a chance to even try Kenpachi on Limit Breaker, which is unfortunate. Uh, they just never gave him a stage, so we don't even know exactly how well he performs in Limit Breaker. I would love to be able to see, uh, but I bet if you give him long stride, he's going to perform just fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I think Kampachi is the best one because I don't see Unahana clearing Captain Melee Week with times three damage. She wouldn't. Ha I guess she would have a sticker because it's Soul Reaper, so I guess she gets that slight bonus. But even with Akon and Shinji, I don't know if she'd be able to clear at one out of five. I just don't see it. So. That's that's my reason. After trying the Nightmare Plus, it's yeah, because uh, I have to assume we're gonna be getting more GQ waves later on in fall. They're gonna be adding in more waves, and then you're gonna get more rewards. So that's where I think Kempachi is going to cleave ahead uh, and become number one. Um, I think I'm going to do this, by the way, just push Orihime down a little bit, just because we've been getting more side nad characters. I don't think she's as needed as she was, um, and then I think I'm gonna put Nelio above him yeah just just slight little tweaks now if you want to say retsu's number one that's fine you know if you're not a big gq guy sure whatever but one out of five versus one out of five that th this is th th this is my overall opinion he oh by the way in gq he has the fastest clear time in very hard guild quest i, I forgot to mention that the fastest i've seen is a 55 second clear with true shika ichigo Kimpachi has the world record time as of I've seen. Maybe there's different, but as of I've seen, 56 second clears with Kimpachi at 5 out of 5. So, uh, and very hard, and very hard. So, just wanted to bring that up. And now going on to the next attribute, because I think speed is pretty much fine. Alright, for the mine attribute, we have two PvP characters. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, only two PvP characters. Um, Noitora. I guess he got a decent resurrection, a decent one. He got strong attack recharge time minus 10% for the uh, melee captain week in GQ. I believe he got bruiser, uh, you know, uh, and then he ended up getting, I, I don't think he got, I think he got the enhancer is what he ended up picking up. Um, so it's like, okay, but I'm not even going to rank him. He's a PVP character still at the end of the day. He would probably be like up here if I was really to rank him like somewhere around here He's just He's kind of whatever For melee captain we have Toshiro the melee captain one for like if it's a nightmare or anything Or we have or we just have Unahana, Akon, and Shinji or something like that And I think they're just gonna be off uh, far far better as for Sajin uh, He has pretty good uh, damage like overall like it's actually <laughs> I, I honestly don't really know where to rank him because literally almost all of his skills besides Flurry plus 3 and Long Reach and Poise is Brave Battles only. Like legitimately only Brave Battles. So it's like, where would I really put him? Like, I don't know. I'm not even going to rank it. It just seems mean to put him there. So I'm just going to put him in PvP. No, 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 no reason to waste time. If I had to guess, he'd probably be like, around here or something like low s just a decent nad character because like 33 is nice and all but i feel like having bru some bruiser and stuff in there would be pretty nice because he has no bruiser that's insane that is absolutely ludicrous i guess moving on to the final attribute power by the way uh i'm doing this hopefully i remember to say i swapped these two yuma chica and gq feels so annoying to use i just i'm not a fan of the barrage attack and then with an sa3 that isn't full screen if you have a barrage attack i want not just an attack in front of you if you know what i mean i don't know why i didn't move him 
before, but it's just two attacks that only cover the front half of you. So it's very obnoxious trying to like hit enemies from behind you. You have to keep like back pedaling and then the boss in front of you in GQ. It, it, it's just kind of annoying to work around. Obviously, I know it's probably just a skill issue, but it, it's, it's very gimmicky to use, especially if an enemy spawns in front of you or just gets in your way. It's just not very fun, you know, especially without an FOV slider. Sometimes you can't even see the boss half the time. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that is how I would rank that. All right, we have Soy Fun. She is the only power character. No, like, insane resurrections or anything. I think there was, like, the Desert Society or the Swimsuit one, but they're all really mediocre. So, if just didn't want to cover it. Rest, rest in peace, Desert Society or Luigi. Your resurrection will be missed. If only it was good. Uh... As for Soifun, I think she's a pretty darn good character. Um, also, one thing, I'm moving down Masaki. I don't use her anywhere. Even in GQ, she felt really rough to use. Like, she guarantees paralysis, but like... It just isn't that fun, you know? I can't use her anywhere, so I'm bumping her down. In Limberbreaker, she would be incredibly slow. In IT, she was incredibly slow. Lily Baro is the only good Super Link Slot Farmer with the Link, I guess, because everybody else is kind of whatever. Uh, Rukia, she's good everywhere except for GQ. That's why she's down here. Yam Yamamoto, man. He's so... His, proccing SP boots is just so inconsistent. I think that's the main gripe. Like, he's just so inconsistent. So many different runs I've had where he just fails me. So that's my... That's that, that's why I'm keeping him here. Keeping him in fourth at the moment. He's just too inconsistent. He was a nuking meta character without nuking. Yeah, that that's my stance on those two. That's my stance on those two. As for Soifan, I think she's a very good character. Uh, unfortunate she did not get guard break, but in IT, I barely even noticed the, uh, limit, uh, the guard break. Um, she has only she has a human melee killer plus, so she's going to be doing ex exceptional damage against humans. Like, if I faced humans, she would have been absolutely insane. She, she probably would have gotten a sub one minute. Uh, clear time with it. Uh, she has strong attack recharge time on his 14%. Uh, her EX ability is just like a dash. It's like a full screen, like beam, essentially, where you can just dash towards the end of the map. Basically inflicting paralysis on every single enemy if they're human. Uh, she has paralysis and weakening all of her strong attacks besides her SA2, but it's also on her EX skill. So it kind of makes up for it, kind of, uh, including her soul bomb as well. Uh, she has the Berserker of 6%, Booster of 30%, Damage Inflicted at Full Stamina plus 20%, uh, Depilitator of 5 seconds, Devastation plus 60%, Enhancer of 10 seconds, so she gets the 43% attack, focus, and defense of boost of uh, 43%, Frenzy plus 2, Havoc plus 20%, Increased Status on the Chance against Humans plus 10%, Paralysis Duration minus 100%, Wish she got Complete Status Immunity, uh, and then SP Boost of 80%, and then the only skill I wish she got was you know, guard break. And then I wish her SA2 wasn't a boost. I wish it was just like a vortex because she's a, literally a wind character. Uh, her innate skills, she also has the full stamina, reduced strong attack cooldown, minus 6%, long stride, and sprinter plus 2. And then she has a kill bonus ability. So her enemy defeated bonus is defeat 20 enemies, you get stamina recovery by 20%. Defeat 40 enemies, you get 30% full stamina damage. And then if you defeat 60, you get a team party strong attack recharge minus 20%. So yeah, very, very powerful skill right here because your entire team gets it, not just a certain attribute or affiliation. So hopefully we get another like that with guard break. <laughs> that would be quite nice. Um, but joking aside, she's a very, very good character. I really, really like her. If I had the ranker, I think she, I, I feel like she'd be up here. She gets a very fast limit breaker, or uh, she has a really good limit breakers kit. She is very, very good in uh, IT, and she does, she's going to do very good in GQ. I haven't tried her out yet. I will po put an edit, you know, uh, in the comments if she doesn't perform well in GQ for whatever reason, since it's dropping next week, but I wanted to drop it now, because um, I've tried her everywhere else, and she's very, very good. Uh, I, I don't know what else more to say about her. She's a very fun character as well. Her strong attacks are really interesting. Love her attacks. They're really fun. Um, but yeah, I think I, I still think Ugetsu is easily number one. Ulk is a close second. Um, and then these two, these two, you can swap back and forth. It's up to you. I know people just prefer Yamamoto, but if you could compare a one five Yama to a one five Ichigo, 
I don't have a 5-5 five five either of them, so I can't compare 5-5, five five, but I, Ichigo feels so much better. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's just that his Soul Bomb kind of lacks damage. I'm j I just don't like Yamamoto's kit, to be honest. Like, his uh, skills, his strong attack kit is perfect. You know, SA1 beam, tracking vortex, or explosion into tracking vortex, and then full screen SA3, plus a very good Soul Bomb. I love him in Epic Grades, I'm not going to lie. In Epic Grades, his Soul Bomb is so goddamn good. This is how I would rank power... Now, obviously, I know that probably a lot of people are going to fight with Yamamoto and Ichigo. Uh, I think Mind is perfectly fine, to be honest. Like, I, I don't think anybody would realistically argue, except maybe these two, I guess. Um, these two are going to get... Oh, my days. I can't wait to see how much hate is from these two. Uh, and then Grammy is easily number one. And then these two might have some back and forth, but I still think Trushika Ichigo is just a better character. Very, very close though. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your top one is for each attribute. Kind of curious to see what you guys think. Take care and have an absolutely amazing day.